Global marketing is definitely here to stay. There is an incredible convergence of tastes worldwide. People are not nearly as different as we once thought, nor do they necessarily prefer the local product. They often prefer the local product if they think it's better, but increasingly people want the best. Unilever has recently introduced ice cream and yogurt into Korea. Now, milk products were not common in the Orient. Korea now consumes more yogurt per capita than does Holland, which is Unilever's home country for dairy products. So tastes are converging. And to discover that, all you have to do is talk to my teenage son. I have taken my teenage son with me on trips all over the world, and I keep introducing him to a local boy that he can spend a day with to learn something about the life in those countries. And in every country he's visited, whether it's Jakarta, Indonesia, Sao Paulo, Brazil, Manila in the Philippines, or a small town in the Netherlands, he has spent the day exactly the same way. They have gone to a local shopping mall, played video games, and eaten a McDonald's hamburger. The global market affects practically all organizations, even companies that still supply local needs in local markets. And here's how it affects the local companies. It affects them because customers are aware of their choices, and customers are going to hold even a local company to higher standards because they are aware increasingly through the media, through communication channels, of the best that the world has to offer. And they want their local company to supply that for them as well. It's not hard to have a marketing plan that crosses borders. I think you have to decide what elements are consistent, and often that means characteristics of the product. You do have to know enough about all the countries in which you operate that you can vary the product if it needs to or vary the approach if a local preference or a local taste is very, very strong. But the important thing is that the plan is global. The plan is not crafted country by country, one at a time. The plan is crafted by a set of people representing all of the countries sitting down in the same room and deciding what should be standard and what should vary. So it's not hard to do the plan as long as you're doing it together and building a team that really looks together. The other important element in building a global marketing plan is that the team who builds the plan knows how to learn from each other. So if our German unit has a great idea and has had terrific success with doing it a particular way, the Italian unit could say, hey, I wonder if that would work in Italy, and try it.